Hello YouTubians, I just wanted to show you the progress I'm making in my cell uh, for hydrogen production on demand. This is the cell right here. It's made out of um, these plates, 180 by 100 mils. There's a square notch one side, there's a just a little tiny notch on the other side. Two holes to mount them on. Uh, this is a nylon threaded rod. They are quite a challenge to find in the shops. In between those plates I've spaced them with two of those washers. They're about 1.7 millimeters each roughly. And, um, and this is how it looks. The wires they're all colorful and happy because I had to um, take them out of a microwave because those taps that they use in the more expensive microwaves they, they do not corrode nor no rust uh, I'm not sure whether they stainless steel or what have you, but I could not find them in the shops. Okay, okay, so how do we seal it all? First we've got this is a 15 millimeter acrylic plate. Very simple with four holes to accommodate those steel rods they just steel rods, uh, the cheaper kind. Then we've got Tupperware, really simple, whatever you can buy in the shop. Obviously I cut the plates to suit that Tupperware. Then we've got a cork rubber seal, they are quite cheap and easy to find in a car shop. They come on top here. That's the top of it. Now the top consists of once again a 15 millimeter acrylic plate and a couple of stainless bolts which I have asked the shop to pre-thread for me. One, two, they are, will, will be our electrodes. Uh, so they pre-threaded them to suit those bolts. They pre-threaded this hole to suit this plastic um, outlet. They just in a, in a plumbing shop, whether they use it for gardening or what have you. And um, I've put quite a bit of uh, Teflon plumbing tape on it and it sealed it off fantastically. Um, I didn't need to put any epoxy or anything like that and it's a really nice seal. So these wires obviously connect to the cell and then it comes on top like that. on top like that and obviously we've got just a normal simple butterfly nuts to fasten. Okay that's about it for this part of the video. Um, I'll put it all together for you so you can see the uh, production. Okay so I've put it all together and before I connect it to um, any uh, power source I wanted to show you an effect that I need your help with. The multimeter is set up on ohm, uh, ohm meter, uh, which uh, will measure the resistance between the electrodes. So if I uh, short out my wires, it'll be about well, 1.8 ohms resistance. <clears throat> so what I want to know, what I want to find out is how much resistance is there between the plates. And there's uh, 40 plates altogether, 20 plus and 20 minus. So 20 here, 20 here. So I'm just uh, going to put um, the cable across the electrodes and have a look at the multimeter, what happens to it. Basically the resistance is climbing and it will continue to climb. So we're 159, 170 ohms, 190, 200 ohms, etc, etc. It will continue to climb like that. And what happens if I reverse the leads? it'll go to zero resistance. So we've got a superconductor right now. And it'll stay on the zero resistance for a short while and then it'll start climbing once again the other direction. Uh, so uh, one of my theories was that uh, the plates work like a capacitor and I just charge them for one direction and then when I um, reverse the charge 
it discharges into the multimeter and that's why it shows zero resistance by the way you can see it now climbing the other line, the other way uh, but what I think is happening now is uh, basically it's a uh, lead acid battery effect uh, because for capacity you need a dielectric and we know that we've got a, um, a good conductor in there because I add an electrolyte to demineralized water which allows the flow of electricity so um, basically the effect is uh, of a lead acid battery I pump up charge in there, it stores it and then it wants to pump it the other way that's why when I reverse the leads it goes to zero until all the charge is gone and then the resistance starts climbing the other way so this is now already half a kilo ohm and just to emphasize this effect I'm gonna put it on a voltmeter and just put it across those leads and it reads 53 millivolts okay and it'll start going down because the charge is going into the multimeter and if I reverse this it'll be minus whatever uh, minus 48 47 millivolts now okay so it does indeed works like a battery uh, now what I need you to do is uh, put on your uh, thinking caps and if you could help me out get rid of this effect so whether it's the solution that causes it whether it's the plates whether it's the setup whether it's the form of the plates itself maybe uh, they have to be tubes instead of plates I do not know um, it goes down to chemistry now uh, what I wanted to do I wanted to pass electricity without with minimal resistance and I don't want it to charge up because then I, I, I uh, lose power basically uh, it just cancels uh, it's, it works like a back EMF basically it cancels some of my uh, power source of voltage therefore I cannot generate uh, as much as I could have without this effect okay so let's uh, let's connect it and uh, see the production alrighty she's all hooked up now We've got um, two batteries connected in parallel, which uh, produces 12 volts once again. Uh, they 12 volt batteries, and uh, they are undercharged as well. We've got a charger in here. Okay, I'm sorry about all the cables. I don't have uh, serious enough cables to uh, transmit that amount of current, so. Um, I use two smaller ones and they'll start smoking as well after a while so we'll give it a go we'll connect our amp meter as well to tell us how much we um, we're consuming and we'll see the production now okay let's see you can read it okay so that's 24 amps 24 and a half amps on um, about 13 volts I'd say 13 maybe maybe even coming to 14 volts now and just to make sure that is hydrogen coming out of there <coughs> it's my favorite part from the other direction then. The power of hydrogen. Pretty cool. Alright, so it runs about uh, 24 amps at um, at about 14 volts and my cables are starting to smoke so we'll cut this um, video short with a bit of luck I'll get some more serious cables for you guys alright see you next time thanks for tuning in bye